Quick tips for pulling a straight bow for beginners. When you're at the halfway point, imagine you're slightly reaching towards the audience, both on a down bow and at the end of your up bow. If I stay straight the whole time, that's what happens. So instead, reach out towards the audience a little bit and it will correct your bow halfway through. Second tip is to play in front of a mirror or your phone or tablet on selfie mode for an instant bow cam. Third tip is to really focus on this with your warm-ups, open strings and scales, because with your repertoire, there's a lot going on in your brain. Notes, fingerings, strings. So do it in your warm-ups for clear focus and good luck keeping that bow in line, literally. String players, we're about to up the ante on your bow games. If your spider crawl has gotten too speedy, have a crawl back the way it came. Backwards, spider. Or even more daring, sideways, spider. If you know your windshield wipers, it's time to up the ante on Mr. Pinky. Start from the bottom. And then, we're not going to the top, uh-uh, stay middle, lower, middle, lower, work that pinky. If being at the frog is too heavy, come in the middle and do some seesaws to have less weight on your fingers. Don't do these more than a couple minutes a day, and when you're done, shake out your fingers, shake out your wrists, give your bow hand some love. Here's some quick tips for tapping into your vibrato hinge. Step one is to rest your thumb at the base of the neck, have a level arm, and tap the corner, come back. Corner, back. Make sure you have clean hands too. We don't want any oils on our varnish. Step two is to place your thumb lightly on the shoulder. Land your fingers down in a first position shape. My elbow is up and I'm gonna shake my arm back and forth. I'm not gonna roll the wrist. I'm just shaking my arm. One and two, shake it, shake it. Two and three, three and four. Then we're gonna put fingers one, two, and three, first position, thumb comes up and behind, and baby, we're gonna slide. Here's a vibrato training siren exercise, and you might wanna apologize to your pets in advance. Step one, put down fingers one, two, and three, lift up the thumb, and do some slides. Don't let the elbow dip down and don't let the wrist roll. Keep a nice, even, flat wrist. Nothing cray cray. Now we're gonna speed it up, but don't go as far. Step three is to put your thumb behind the neck and we're gonna be sliding with the thumb also moving. It's just lightly resting and following the crew. And slowly make it smaller, smaller, smaller. 